The December assault by Mexican troops left one of the country's most wanted drug traffickers, Arturo Beltran Leva, dead. The raid is one of many that have taken place in recent years as Mexico battles the drug cartels. The outcome directly affects the United States. The spillover of violence into some U.S. cities near the border has alarmed U.S. authorities. In the U.S., the effort to fight drug trafficking from Mexico is spearheaded by the Drug Enforcement Administration's Houston Field Division. DEA Intelligence Chief Gary Hale says helping Mexico is the best way to protect the United States. To be realistic, we'll never get rid of drug trafficking per se, but we can have an effect on the overall business. And the best effect that we have determined that we can have is to disrupt and dismantle. So, and how do you do that? You go after command and control, you go after the leadership. President Calderon's three-year war against drug trafficking organizations, says Hale, is stopping huge amounts of cocaine and other narcotics from South America from making it over the U.S. border. The same amount of drugs are, are, are reaching Mexico, but they're having a difficult time because of Calderon's policies moving those drugs through Mexico and into the United States. Mexican troops have been deployed to battle the cartels as concern grows that the traffickers are establishing de facto control over some parts of the country. Hale says this has motivated the rank and file among Mexican troops. And they're not doing it because they're forced to do it. Uh, they're not doing it because they make a lot of money. They're doing it because they're patriots. What's crucial in Hale's view will be a sustained effort by both Mexico and the United States working in cooperation to further disrupt and cripple the criminal enterprises that threaten the security of both nations. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.